to YouTube. My name is Yo PJD, and tonight I want to talk about important things that I've learned about being a man that have been different from the twenties and thirties, forties. It feels different. Not to say these things weren't prevalent in my 20s and 30s, but they're even more of a priority now. And I think men need to make sure you realize this. And they go towards being a single parent too, whether you're a man or a woman, but especially for my guys. Every day, you have to do your best to be impactful, right? When I say impactful, it doesn't mean you have to always be impactful the same way. But as a man, I think it's important every day to seek to add value to your situation, to your surroundings in some way, shape, or form. However you go about doing that, whether it be did you create something today, did you teach somebody something, did you help somebody, did you... Did you build something? Did you did you get yourself out of a place that maybe you're just one step closer to your goal? Did you renew your energy? Did you rest? Did you did you deal with a tough situation? I think a lot of that too comes from being able to expect that things aren't always gonna go your way. But that doesn't mean you expect them to not go your way in a negative way, right? Just being prepared if things don't go your way mentally, that it doesn't break you, that it doesn't shake you. For me, this mindset became even more important in my journey as a single dad dealing with my predetermined thoughts, my experiences with my friends, my own parents, and my own thoughts of what a mother was and what a mother does and what a mother would be and how could you not do X, Y, and Z as a mother and stop that because it was only doing detriment to myself and to my own mental, to my own psyche um, because at the end of the day, she didn't care. So why am I caring about stuff so much that she doesn't? Obviously, I'm just wasting my time. It's important that as a man, as a single parent, like you have to expect that sometimes things are going to be challenging. I think a lot of times, sometimes we forget that or we get into this groove of everything's just, just easy and mellow that when a tough time comes, you fall apart. We can't do that. All is not lost just because you hit a road bump. You could still make it home just in ca just because you got a flat tire. You just gotta change the tire. You know, sometimes you just gotta you gotta adjust. You gotta be able to think through the circumstance, the issue, and come up with solutions. Especially as a man, because people are looking at to you as a problem solver. You have to fix things. This week has been especially challenging for me because I didn't expect my son to have some of the uh, responses or thoughts that he, and feelings that he was sharing with me this week uh, in the way that he did. Um, it's funny because every day I see this young man grow. He's telling me about what his brain does, and he's talking about his five senses, five senses, and telling me what he remembers about things. And I'm shocked that he remembers some of the things that he remembers. And but as much as I see all this happiness, and you know. Um, these changes happening. Also, I have to remember 
there's a part of him that one day might have questions and I have to be prepared to answer certain questions and how I answer them is important. I have to remember that, you know, some days he's just a baby. Every day he's not going to be able to, he's not a baby anymore. Let me, let me not wake him up because he hear me saying, yeah, baby, he done ran in here and got in my room because he's fake scared, but every day isn't going to be a day there's going to be some days that are more challenging there's going to be some days that you got to deal with things that you have to deal with with a kid like unexpected circumstances but it's it's what it comes with the gig it's part of the job it's part of the the memory and experience when you get older and when you when you mature and they grow up like you remember that it's like part of the process. I have friends now that uh, kids are getting ready to go to college. A friend of mine, kid is contemplating going to the same school I went to. It's just amazing that, you know, I remember when this kid was three, two years old, younger than my son, and now you're going to college. Let alone, you're going to the college that I went to. <laughs> like, you're considering it. It's, but I know that there was challenges through the way. I was there. I seen some of them. I didn't understand them in my 20s and 30s, but I understand them more now. So anybody who is going through life and you're experiencing challenges, don't let them defeat you. Don't let them change your scope or your, your focus to what your end goal is. Understand that it's like sports, like there's quarters, you might go up on the run, you might that the team might adjust and now you lose the lead, you gotta you gotta keep fighting up. That don't mean you give up to that to that whistle blow or to that time is expired. You gotta keep going. You gotta keep pushing. I was talking to one of my buddies from back home and he was just talking about how he's maturing as a man and some of his friends he used to be friends with, he's not friends with anymore. But we were just talking about, yeah, like we can both relate to that. It's not that there's love loss, it's just maybe that the conversation is different because you have less thing in common and maybe they're moving to negative things or maybe they just have a different path. But it doesn't mean it has to be love loss, but you tend to gravitate more to people who are into the same or similar things. And I was telling him how, like, yeah, man, like every time I get in the Uber, somehow it's, <laughs> somehow some way it gets to me asking them do they got kids and their experience or telling them, you know, make sure you're ready and you'll never be ready, but this is what to look out for. Most of my friends, when we get together, especially the guys, we talk about the kids, what they're going through. Even even this week, the, some of the challenges that I had, I reached out to a couple of the guys that I know had faced them or in similar spaces now. And I was a little frustrated because I couldn't get anybody to speak to right at that moment. But then I thought about one of the guys and thinking about where he was and where he's at now and how how tough it might have been. But nevertheless, he made it through. Like, he kept going. He didn't give up. I was like, this is just a part of the story. This is just a moment in time. And be prepared for it now that you know it could happen. And still... Keep going, still still keep fighting. Oh, man, I got to get ready to go to bed. Hopefully that message is something that resonates to somebody. I know I didn't get into such specific details, but the main point is to expect things to be challenging at times. Expect to... I know a lot of people talk about manifesting and just... Success, success, when you go to church, it's success, 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 and money and wealth and power and all this stuff. But I think that sometimes that does a disservice to you if you're not prepared for the challenges that come with life and having that mental toughness to say, all right, life threw me this, now what? You know, kid had a rough day, now what? You still the parent, you got to figure it out, you know? Family had a rough day. All right, you're still the dad. What you want to do? You got to figure it out. You got to hold the ship. The captain, the captain go down with the ship. The captain got to keep fighting, keep steering. If you're a man, you got to be the captain. If you're a single parent woman by yourself, you you the captain. You the captain now. <laughs>
as they say, man. Don't give up. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. I wish I could <laughs> talk more about some of the stories I've heard from people this week other than myself who've had moments when they had to just keep pushing and encouraging themselves. But y'all know who y'all are. Y'all keep doing y'all thing, man. Till the next time, I'm Lil PJD. Next video, hopefully it won't be this tone. It'll be more fun. But this is real. This is real life. Maybe there's a space for this on YouTube. Maybe it's not. Maybe this is just something I'll watch later on. We'll see. All right. All right, man. Peace.